Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to, to be here to participate in this interesting seminar. I transfer you the apologies of the Secretary General of uh, Demographic Challenge in Spain because for question of the last minute agenda, he couldn't attend the, the opening, but I am here, I am very happy. I try to, to talk in three or five minutes, uh, which is the, the principal issues that we are facing in the government of Spain. And I try to do it so fast and in Spanish, so I change in that moment. Good morning. Thanks a lot. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Espon and the team of uh, the analysis uh, to organize this interesting seminar in which we'll have the opportunity of sharing opportunities and transfer knowledge, uh, not only from experts uh, who work uh, in the academic uh, sector, but also through different responsible uh, people who work at different levels of, of governance uh, who are working against uh, yeah, unbalanced uh, and uh, the population who on uh, our, uh, our department uh, we want to highlight uh, that uh, this process uh, affects uh, the life of citizens uh, in the area where they live. Uh, it's especially important for us uh, the fact that Victor could uh, be with us uh, sharing the opening as, uh, uh, the, as the head of the technical uh, sec uh, section of ESPON program. And I wanted to highlight that this is a first uh, seminar and the first opportunity that we have to organize something since uh, he uh, organized a, a seminar that was uh, very interesting in uh, the province of Soria, which is one of those which are uh, suffering the population uh, in a more uh, important way. Uh, celebrating this kind of events uh, allows us uh, contacting uh, the uh, different uh, stakeholders uh, and uh, raising awareness on the work that has been done by the ESPON. And at this specific moment, the information that the ESPON is providing us, uh, which uh, we uh, generate as well as uh, one of the contact points, uh, the diagnosis and the vision of what's happening within the framework of the European Union, this transfer of knowledge is key because that vision, that, that compared vision can allow us to do a collective programming. When we talk on rural, uh, shrinking rural areas, we understand that there are different interpretings depending of the context on the uh, research area and the political insights. But we are working so that the different territories in Spain, which are in, uh, which are shrinking rural areas could take advantage of the benefits of the system of uh, green infrastructure, developing a low uh, carbon print uh, economy and developing a different initiatives at a local and regional uh, level. We are aware of the opportunities that the recovery funds uh, provide us, uh, in the case of Spain, for transformation and resilience. And we know that these funds are an opportunity to transform and reactivate uh, those uh, territories uh, from the directorate uh, for the fight against uh, the, po the population. We are going to have the opportunity of working together with our regional governments to activate uh, processes which are aligned with this space of transformation in rural areas uh, with uh, projects uh, related to forest management and economy. And that's why we are integrating that working logic, uh, this uh, coherence uh, with the transition, with the uh, ecological transition. We are part of the Ministry of Ecological Transition and that's uh, our, our main a logo. We need to work so that rural and urban areas uh, uh, can work together 
and are balanced uh, and uh, the development of biodiversity and the development of rural areas are key for providing equal opportunities and this needs to be promoted from the institutions and from the government of Spain. I want to close my intervention because we, I know we have a very short and limited time, but I want to insist on the interest that the government of Spain has in cooperating with all the different stakeholders and especially from the side of the directorate for and the management of uh, the population. Um, we want to implement better public policies. And uh, that's why I want to thank uh, the technical organization of this uh, peering workshop. Uh, I want to thank you for organizing it and I hope we can celebrate many more and hopefully we can do it uh, face to face, uh, physically present. Uh, so that the quality of the of the seminar increases, and last uh, but not least, uh, from the side of the Spanish uh, government uh, in representation of, of all the different peoples of Europe, uh, I want to present my support to the people of Ukraine. Thanks a lot, uh, and uh, hope you have a very fruitful day.